Okay, so their title. I, okay, you know what? I, I guess I guess I can't do a Zami kill because uh. Oh, because uh, it's like already starting. Okay, this is probably just the trailer we've seen. Oh, it's not a trailer at all. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. That feels weird to say. We do you guys hear here Good on stream? Hopefully Happy you do. Time zone to you out there watching live. Welcome back to the RuneScape channel. I am Mod Doom, your community manager. Love today. the timing. I am yeah. Delighted to be joined by Mod Sponge and Mod Luma, who are here to be talking to you about some cool stuff that's coming up very, very soon. Um, it was initially touched on. Necromancy in, uh, update. Letter from Combat update. Earlier dev today, stream. So uh, earlier today. Earlier this. That hour, does not it's been sound good. An hour. I don't know why I said earlier today. Anyway, it's there. I popped it in chat. That doesn't sound good it, because that doesn't sound like there's anything new. You guys, when the uh, title is Necromancy and Combat Update, like we already knew that was happening. Some really cool stuff coming your way in February and March. Oh shoot, so, I, I probably should have started, started, started recording this, but I'll just pull it off Twitch. About them today. So, up first, we have got an update coming your okay. way in February. It's so, a, 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 a bundle, a bundle of a bundle necromancy goodies a bundle all sorts of updates a bundle it sounds like number two sounds like cash grab we're returning to the city of um which is really really cool so i want to see exactly um, so i predicted there's three outcomes what they're gonna land in owls one owl there he is outcome three. one I'm getting really good at pointing that's, just that's a quick like recap the they announced yeah, nothing new owl. everything oh, we already knew we're talking about the big one new about the big one it's which a, is kind of what i'm one, leaning towards but it's it's a it's a sweet little option adventure. two is they um, announce it's uh, a cash grab and we all cry. Sorry. Option three, they actually announce yeah, something so good. Four hundred and fifty quests. <laughs> I imagine. I think well, just getting, looking at the title. Um, so what can I feel like? There's this like this a sixty to like a seventy percent chance. Seventy percent um, chance. Housing of Parliament. Of this happening. For those that know. Nice. Parliament refers cash to grab. Like a 25 percent chance working on that and then the copium plans. like a five percent chance of happening um, it's just a, a nice short quest where you work with a new character in um the owl keeper and you do up the owl's place to entice, entice the owls back to um okay they're talking about of it. it's something I worked on the just game merchandise i guess um, fine i knew when i was working on necromancy and we wanted to do more with let the owls. me hide my notepad for now yeah. So I'm covering up a Jmon. Yeah, I, I I've taken a look at it. It's it's really really cool. I I love the owlery. I love I love the owls of um, we love Omen. Um, it's just it's a really really cool little opportunity for for players to explore an area of um that they haven't really seen before, and then uh, check it out. And I think is am I right in thinking that when you complete the quest, you it attracts more owls into um yes is there like a, yeah yes there's like it, it's it's fun on my mod account i go in and i i play with the quest variable and i do quest not complete and i do quest how long are we going to talk about owls. owls here in the city it's great so, that yeah, is my so question more owls around the city incredible the i love that that is exactly what we love to see so that's going to be very very nice to see i, I think it's going to be super cool i am loving the, uh, what are the comments saying? I'm loving more the owls, and more then, ravens. So what can we get our hands on when we arc? When we pick up our rewards for doing. Can we get quest? tier 95 mage armor? So first of all, no. there's a post, we don't we don't need that. There's a short bit of, of quote post quest content. So we don't even have tier 95 ranged armor. I don't know why Drake Drake, Drake Lich was not tier 95. They made it freaking tier 92. All that jazz, and they'll appear occasionally as you Which is just like up, why? Get a new one. A new owl appears every five levels after the quest, and there you also get a new gemstone, an uncut moonstone, which Sponge might like to talk, talk more about. Wait, what? Oh, really? Yeah. Uncut moonstone? Yeah, yeah, you, get, you get a new gem, and it's, it's shiny. Um, yeah, so you might have seen me tweet. Okay. Uh, tweet seems kind of relevant right now. Um, back that's interesting. Yeah, that means more ju year. more uh, jewelry yeah, swapping time. Wearing some new blue jewelry. You guys uh, excited for that? How much do we want to? If it's anything combat related, yeah. it's gonna be jewelry swap you know. time. Anyways, there's there's yeah, moonstone, new jewelry type. Um, you get one moonstone from the quest. Um, huh. I'm not gonna say how you get more, but you can get more. Um, 
and you can make right now you can make some mid level mid to high level somewhere around there enchanted jewelry mid um, to high level jewelry um, okay leather combat so skill let me um let it's... me make a new dock actually a new tab um jagex dev stream to, um, february 2024 um but there's a notes. short sequence to actually be able to use it um just a bit more post quest content um but yeah it's Owl. intended to be expanded upon in the future um stuff i'm going to that right now new uh, yeah, there's a whole gems, new type of jewelry that we're introducing that stone. you can yeah, get your hands on from moon various stone. methods and then who knows where that's going to go that could that could be we could go crazy with it mid Correct, to absolutely. high um, tier yeah i don't Prob think the economy, probably probably not best in slot best yeah, get your hands on it very soon in nice. slot so um for those of you who are eager to get your hands on it um and get your quest cape back you the only requirement is 56 necromancy that's all you need and you need to be able to go to the city of um which means you need to have done you your first foray into the, level quest into the world so once you're in and you've got your 56 necromancy okay set and then you can go from there and you can 54, just enjoy 54 oh, it's 54 <laughs> ah 54. i'm talking I'm, I'm talking absolute rubbish what am i talking about i don't know why I've, i thought it was 56 you've over leveled ah i'm Shoot. too good at Did I, when i open up rs oh, it like so, it like <laughs> yes 54 there you go so you've, we've gets so rid generous. of the stream so i should um, stop doing that so there you go we've we've dropped that down a bit and then of course um you'll get your hands on your 450th quest point if you've been keeping track on all of them okay quest that point means, sure uh you'll get your next milestone which is really cool and got more owls in um and then owls more that's owls not the only part of this necromancy update that's going to be coming out at the same time okay right? necromancy kind of part two managed to get a really nice opportunity here to collate like a range of necromancy updates to go out at the same time See, in my in my notepad or my prediction so what what else have we got i put there? necromancy any, part is, two as to, an expected update anything else with necromancy like rituals because we had we had a part um, two for every 120 sorry. new skill yes um protection glyphs i changed these a while back but this hasn't gone live i believe i did announce what the effect was they extend the length of random events so that's going out um i think that's kind of the main thing with rituals we don't have much else for rituals we've got a couple of other miscellaneous things okay so it's fun to want to cover any of them but i also worked on it looks like they're doing Almond, some uh, the city of ritual he talks about him a little necro bit and now he'll actually visit the city of Arm every ritual Wednesday. and he'll have some some just quality miscellaneous of wares, life uh, updates i guess i feel like they've been doing that so much his backstory and his lore every week and of course unlock all of them we go to achievement and what else have we got? Um, we've got. Okay, I can go if you want. Hey, you are. We're yeah, going over the dev stream. One K KC skin for Miso. Um, so if you hit a thousand Raziel skills, okay, you get a, a, a new skin cool. for Raziel. <laughs> uh, that... We got a minor thing, which is Why? some stat adjustments. Uh, okay, um, sure. Restat some of the stuff that was already restated when Necromancy launched. Um, so stat adjustments. Low levels shouldn't die to cows as much anymore. Okay, so like um, in general, the it's a big low level of stat level. just sure. sure to get that info out. Um, so then mod doom are we talking about anything else on this raziel pet so we've got one we've had our KC skin. disturbances we've got our miso raziel prestige stat skin. um adjustment will philippe will philippe i can't pronounce it philippe carnelian mobs moving locations yes that's a good question i need no one on Wait, I'm, I'm kidding he's not dead but he's enough <laughs> And you can get your new magical dice as well. Um, Oops. From his caravan. So, Sorry about that. Yeah, new Philippe. Have me concerned. New dice. Did not kill off Philippe. Oh, goodness. Um, and then the other thing that I know a lot of people have been talking about is 
T95 Necro gear being diable. Um, and we were super, super receptive to that. Heard, heard you loud and clear. We've been like jazzed about. I guess you about that. Um, dying the T95 Necro gear, but it's like was to make sure that we could get it in with this update and get it all out at the same time. But, but no, we've been working really hard on it. We've been pushing for I mean, it. Sure. Um, and we want to make sure like, that it's this is all good stuff and looking as perfect like, as we can. Why not, right? Um, why not make the new mind, gear diable? A little bit of time left to work. But like, on it. where's the where's the meat, Jagex? Where's the meat? The meat so pet out. I need the now, meaty content. And the plan is that I'm not going to give you a date because I know you want a date, right? Like, the moment I put a date on it, something's going to happen. So I I'm a, I'm bad luck when it comes to dates. So I'm going to say very soon is what I would like to say. But I don't want to put a commit to a date to it because the moment I say a date, something's going to happen and it's immediately going to be my fault. So I'm looking forward to you guys getting your hands on it. I don't have the T95 and I don't know Di you guys yet, but it's fine. Well, you guys are going to have a great time. Raziel so, gear soon. soon TM. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But that is sort of the bundle of everything that we've got coming in with Necromancy. We've got our new... Okay. Um, new skin for me, so our combat rebounds. So that actually was Thalman that was very little necromancy sword, no daily runs. That's weekly. like um, that everything they announced did not need to be an announcement. So I hope there's something else more. Changes to protection glyphs. We've got moonstone jewelry. Um, okay, I, I know that I, the there's been jewelry a lot of is around ectoplasm. Is good. That's that's good actually. That's is the only anything, thing right now that they've announced that, that I would say talk about is worth ectoplasm? talking about because I know that it's something that's come up a lot. And it's also come up in the but the way that they're talking about it doesn't seem like it's a big change like it's, it's just going to be a minor a change conversation around ectoplasm as a as a resource and so are we have we have we been thinking about ways to get more ectoplasm into players hands we have indeed um yeah timbo and i have been discussing it um timbo will be looking into it very shortly um it's kind of balancing wise but the current plan is to introduce a new ritual which you can just output solely at ectoplasm uh so yeah try and bring those okay those that's actually good i like that yes we are new very ritual aware of that and for pure ne ectoplasm target release date but it's it's something yeah very aware of lovely stuff so there you go ectoplasm ritual coming soon or some sort of ectoplasm to give you more only ectoplasm, or some sort of ectoplasmic ritual addition Coming for your more so, don't worry. ectoplasm and then that is about it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna drag mod luma around for the full duration um because i know that the next sort of section that we wanted to chat about is a lot more combat oriented so um we are absolutely Happy to have you stick around, Mod Luma. We'd be honored to have oh, you with us, but also I appreciate dates. that it's a Friday afternoon and the last thing you want to be doing is sitting combat here. Combat updates. About okay, combat let's see. So let's see, Jagex. If you oh, would I, like I, to stick around, you're I forgot I, I had my notepad hidden. Whoops. Um, so, with that in mind. All right. So what do they have for Sponge, combat? You had you sent me over very kindly a list of points you wanted to talk about related Oops, to. I keep opening freaking RS. Sorry. The combat beta and changes and all sorts of stuff. Do you feel like you're ready to chat about some of those? Never ready to chat about combat. Never. That's too bad. I, I mean, we, um, we should just sit I'm, here for yeah. 46 minutes and we'll just stare vaguely into people's souls. I'd love that. I'd love nothing more. Um, so the, the first thing I want to say before we sort of jump into it, um, a lot of people saying they love to hear me ramble about stuff. That's really cool. Thanks. Um, I'll do more of that in future. But one of the top things is obviously like we want to make sure that we get in this combat beta in um, into a state where we can move all those changes into the live game in one nice movement. And so we are aiming for March. That is that is our window where we want to make March all the changes. You know, and get them they the said that is back in December or in November, it would be out in January. And what you... And um, now it's February. <laughs> now they're saying March. Uh, resonate with it. Uh, you know, I'll see it got. when I. So uh, I'll believe sure it when I see it. Get our hands on stuff. Uh, Jagex. Get hands on feedback. Get those changes in. Get them into your hands. See how they feel. And if we need to iterate, we got to iterate. So 
I Game thought March, they said Mod Keeper, Keeper was going to do some some yeah, announcement. This I don't see Mod Keeper. Keeper. So Mod Keeper, want to get it right? Right? Mod Keeper was like the executive producer or something like that. Going like, oh, this is not what we wanted. Like, did he just like no? So, want to make sure that we get it. Just did he right. just so March is the goal? Ditch That's the stream based on the feedback that we're getting and based on the adjustments. So, with that in mind, let's talk about the beta where it is right now. How are we feeling, Sponge? No, he's getting the announcement no, ready, no, probably. We get, we get, oh, uh, no. General feedback. Nah, is this that late? Is it uh, last second? <laughs> it oh, dear like, God. Your mic got so loud. Go crazy. Sorry. And then we'll That's work from there. Um, there has been a bunch of feedback on the back of that. Some stuff we want to address before he we... He escaped out the back it. window. Um, so we are hoping to get out another beta build. Um, the yeah, he probably... You know, uh, the, the Doom... I don't no, blame him. Don't Just running away from this If it goes mess. wrong, it's Doom's fault. But, um, yeah, we're hoping to do a build out on Thursday. Um, and we're going to be addressing some of the higher end balancing concerns so i will say We're absolutely just melting everything at high end mid 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 range is pretty good and um, the mid end players are having a good time um but there's some compounding um damage issues at the top end um yeah i agree with what mod sponge is saying well. and i will say um but within that most of the changes the with the combat Stop beta good. Being right. good are game. good I'm overall uh, it's good. You like, have to do so much work to stop. You if you love, let's say, it's, it's using ridiculous. melee or you love using magic or something I mean, it's like not that, my problem. sure, problem, it might be worse for you. Like, it's sorry, guys. But for it's like the have. general right, state yeah. of the game, I uh, think that, all the combat beta changes are, are overall now, a positive because it does fix a lot of the jank with the game um, <laughs> that um, used to be very. Cry. Tedious and cumbersome um, to like. Yeah, well, let's I'm going to get that changes. easy pay one day. Come on, just let me have. No, you're not. Let me get. Let me get my it's easy like, pay it's like, before it's, you. It's like a it. one in two drop rate, anyways. So anyone can have it. <laughs> I haven't killed Jad yet. Hang on, like let's chill out. <laughs> oh my it's god, it. I'll work my way up. Let me have <laughs> uh, this. This, right? this should not be streamed. I don't want to know that you. Anyway, sorry. Suck at playing RS so, mod dude. Apart from oh. that, what else is happening? This is not a good, not a good showing. So we should preface this. We will be looking at chat. I want to do a bit of a Q and A ish type thing. Oh, Q and A. Okay. If I see anything good in chat, which most of it's just all right. Quick. Right now. Anyone have ideas um, if I see for mod good in chat? Then I will probably just stop and answer that. Um, but I will we'll say some of the changes and address some of the feedback players have given. Um, so uh, Ruby any... bolts in the beta, we reworked the effect um, because any it was weirdly plans with the for high crit. end. Um, Players said Content it's every two weeks like now. Um, so we're addressing that. Raids. Um, we're going to give them a bit more of their identity back, have them scale up with HP again. Um, so they are better at the start of the fight than at the end of the fight. Um, and they will generally be a bit stronger. I, I, uh, see, I don't know when he's going to read it, do so do I don't like know what to type it. Nerf sandwich? Is that, is that what we do? Um, that way players can't clip me too bad, and it'll just be like, nerf, 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 nerf. Um, yeah, true. Let's try that. Uh, let, let me go through. Um, we're going to look at crit damage in some form um, at the top, most top end. Uh, I'm sure you've seen clips of people absolutely melting bosses, spamming special attacks, doing crit damage, I saw getting a drain back, getting main aid on. It was so. It was. I was like, my boy, they've absolutely massacred my boy. It's not cool. It's, uh, every everything everything is melting, um, and before the beta goes out, we need to address that. Um, so we don't know exactly what we're going to do on that. Um, there's lots of things we can do. So we're just going to put some stuff in the beta, let you guys play with it, and then we'll we'll rinse and repeat. See, I think, um, but like we might just bring the crit crit damage down. Uh, we might bring some of the special attacks that are being spammed down. Um, that sort of thing. Um, okay, maybe this is a, maybe this is like a bad take, but everything. like if we bring crit damage, I down, think it's actually magic, which is probably actually like okay. Balanced in the beta at right this now. point, needlessly if... suffers. And if the damage is like kind of high, if things are just melting, there's lots of as long as we as long as we parts, get more interesting. Uh, that's the sort of thing we're looking at. So. And difficult content. Is there anything like that? Like asked, if we just have something that outscales, HP, and this is a thing that the I, changes, I deliberated about as someone. With you know, like no the crit damage changes, all that stuff. Game development. It's okay. Like, that sounds easy, but then I was like, okay, but just adding a zero to the end of every boss's HP bar means that everyone's PBs. Are just in the bin 
right? Like just being like, we'll, we'll push this. Okay, line, I actually would very much down. like adding a zero to every single like, boss's HP. That would be so funny. Know. True. Um, I would love that. There, there's a bit of a problem with just doing it because when you look at like the damage curve, it's like the topmost end is the ones getting a lot of the damage where they're they're using everything to the to its full potential, and like your mid level players that are just I don't know. Not just Revo warrioring, but like <laughs> not sticking to a strict Bro, rotation. RS three is is the Revo the maximum warrior. of everything. Their their damage Freaking is like game. pretty steady. So if and I think honestly, HP, that is what the top, top end, Jags is kind of appealing to with all the latest bosses. Much. Um, so it's not as easy as just rage boss HP. As a high end um, player, sure like obviously I don't like that, side. but. I understand why they're doing that. <laughs> Sponge just say we suck. It's really all right. Look, I can say that to Doom. I can't say that to Chat because most of Chat's probably better than I am. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm paid to put up with it. I'm paid to put up with Sponge. Like that's fine, but he can't be mean to you guys. That's that's my job. Okay. Is there any um, notes I should write down sorry. for this? I don't think they actually said anything yeah. new so yet. So that was that's that's why H HP just just adding HP. Yeah, they haven't even damage. said anything new. Um, so. Is there is there anything currently on the beta that you want to like that we want to iterate on before we like is there anything more we want to experiment with like the next steps of this um before we go with these changes to go live and then the other question is like when these changes do go live eventually what's the plan for the betas after that is there going to be a beta after this goes live so two questions really um <laughs> we'll start with the second one because that's freshest in yeah. my mind uh what's what's the plan, yeah, plan of the betas um myself mod ryan and mod Pi mod pigeon who's nearly newly joined our team um we want to do more betas once this goes live um i, I think they should do a pvp we'll beta more on some content they should rework pvp um, with probably beta on the side so we're gonna look to keep doing betas but they might not be as frequent as this one um, there's a bunch of stuff I we think want to play around with, want to test. while um, most people, like so yeah, the majority of the game as long as we can, um, but are not be currently interested, very, interested in PvP, I think it can be something that people can do for fun like it was in the uh, past. Yeah, I think that it needs to be massively that, uh, simplified. A bit fast for me. What was the other question? Anything else we want to iterate uh, on? Is yeah. Right? Yeah, what's, what, what, uh, what else is in your sights? Basically everything, um, to be honest. Uh, we're generally happy with how the beta feels. Like I said, there's a bit of a power issue at the top end. Um, but there is some stuff we're going to revert and or play around with a bit more to get it right. Um, an example, uh, players gave some good feedback around Anticipate last week slash this week um, that Anticipate was kind of being used in core rotations of like, I've got nothing to do. So I'll use Anticipate to gain some adrenaline. Um, so Anticipate does feel very weird witness. now. We're going to revert that for the time being, so it's back to the basic attack. Yeah, I, I actually think it is better for Anticipate um, to work as a GCD global, global like cooldown off global because cooldown it actually gives you a defensive no benefit in the game. That yet as well. It. Most people don't know, but it gives you 10% uh, damage reduction for like, have it off global cooldown like 12 seconds. eventually, so that we can do quick. Here's a stun coming. You have to react right now, um, which is actually nothing there right now that. Requires that pretty significant um, for so like the high first end stuff. Point of why we we're going to revert it. The second point is players like that. I have nothing to do, so I'm going to press a button and gain some adrenaline. Uh, yeah. So we're going to see about I agree. an ability that does that properly. When and you're using when we do if we when do, you're using we will go stuff like magic off GCD. Um, and you like use anticipate. Not only does it give you adrenaline, you I've can got, fit an auto attack or a AL or a spell cast Maybe in that time as well. So if you remove uh, now yeah. anticipate as a GCD, like well, you can't do that yeah. anymore. Seems good. So there was another part that I wanted to chat. And you don't about. want to use like your freedom or something. I, I appreciate the opportunity Maybe you need that for something something else than the fight. Um, yes. There was another question that I was sort of thinking about that. Um, came to mind because we, we chatted about it a little bit earlier was um okay so I'll there any add, I'll areas of concern oops that so you haven't been able to really dive into yet or ones that you kind of wanted to get into to a good spot first be back before on you then went into global cooldown kind of touching on the wider stuff like is there anything that you were like okay we'll get the core systems down first and then like 
this thing that's been bugging me for ages, I can finally get to that. Wait, finally, I've been waiting for ages. Is there anything you want to name um, and shame? There, there is, like, it's pretty well known that <laughs> there's a lot of weird RuneScape mechanics that I dislike and I show disdain for. I agree. People in chat will know that. There are a lot of uh, jank in RS. But now that... I, I, I don't know if there's something you're specifically thinking of, but my mind is don't. Blank, I don't... So I'm just going to go with it. Um, now that I've the got, systems are in a bit... The Oh, you have, yeah, that is true. I, I, yeah, actually. I was gonna say, I'm You've curious to what he thinks is that bad. That wasn't where I was going. I'll go where I'm going, and I'll go to the Reaver. Um, <laughs> you, now that you circle back. Cheers. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna start slamming into things players love, and then they can hate me for it. It's fine. Um, now that the combat system's in like a much better place, it's so much easier to work with from a dev side. Um, obviously, players won't really see that. It's a lot of back end work. Um, <clears throat> we want to work on making combat more fun. Um, but That's very, like, very good. Some elephants in the room that we'll need to address at the same time. Uh, a big thing I've often speak about is um, crit adren, tsunami, etc. Like that's something that's at the top of my mind. Like it's okay. very hard to balance around. But we're not going to touch it right now. So the the crit something. buffs well, are when I say we're not gonna extremely touch it broken. It. Um, obviously, changes to crit or to special attacks changes that like off to the side. Back when um, tsunami and like the equivalent like were made, the it was not balanced for how it works now. I, I agree. Damage range squishes. There's not that much variance. Um, so in the future, yeah, look to make combat have more good variance and remove some. But damage. if you like, so that's basically where I was. Going. If you revert, uh, or if you like nerf tsunami on, now, is, now that combat is easier like, to interact with, you're gonna have to do something for magic, or else it's just gonna be easier. just completely awful. <laughs> From here on out really like Maybe the adren easier. thing is the only thing that magic has there's, it there's gets outclassed by like basically like everything Reaver, else which we see as a crutch um just free healing for just existing just keeping you alive for no real reason they're things we want to address so it's worth getting those out in the air wait what is he talking um, about did he say soul split the, like they are things we want to address well let me um, see oh no sorry the blood so reaver okay yeah chat, they're like i i was going to i was going to say no i love blood reaver uh, yeah, Blo yeah, Blood Reaver like should, needs to be nerfed. I agree. Blood Reaver is um, literally infinite said, so healing ghost, for like nothing. Like you don't have to do anything. Um, it's Soul Split different, is different because Soul Split, um, a lot of the times, is a so is a ghost, skill thing. Necro, um, you actually have to prayer flick. On everything if we want but Blood Reaver is you literally don't heavy. need to. So we want you don't need to do anything. You just need to keep it alive. We can have that. Reaver yeah. Just being a yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't, they would never get rid of Soul Split because Soul Split is like too iconic for RuneScape at this point. Un unkillable, and two, it gets rid of that. He's talking about the Blood Reaver. I agree. Blood Reaver needs to be nerfed. Um, someone said Necro is everything heavy, and I don't disagree. Um, in part, um, I think it's overtuned at the moment. Um, but there's there's issues with just bringing it straight down. Um, when we want to make everything feel nice um if we bring necro down and then we in the beta made melee feel good really good and bring its power up and our necro's down here it's like what have we actually achieved now one just feels terrible to use because it's easy to use but melee also is now easier to use but it's just much better it's about meeting a middle ground um but i agree with some of the sentiments that players are raising yeah i think it's it's totally valid i, th I i've always had quite an extreme opinion about necro in that i i'm i'm of the opinion that as it's a much more accessible system and the and the yeah. progression path i actually straighter, uh, much more linear i think necromancy about doing bunch of i think while it is extremely like melee i was always of like the underdeveloped I like, like i feel like it's an alpha object i think lower, the way necromancy is incentive was like, made is I good PVM overall now, for the game and then yep. i'm gonna progress but again like that, that just means that you're going to jump from a very intuitive system to one that right now in the live game has a lot of weird quirks and a lot of weird jank. And then it's like, okay, well, actually, now I've, I'm doing <laughs> See, they, damage, they know. He knows worse. the jank. So it's much better to work on making the combat triangle systems feel really good to use and then being like, okay, well, now we bring Necro down and then they're all kind of that that's its spot is it? it's sustain heavy accessible gives you that healing from the ghost and then the other styles are much more flair and and thematic yeah. and have higher damage it, anyway it, so it is worth saying on the ghost front as well like 
I appreciate it doesn't have it at the moment, but at some point there is going to be a trade-off for having the ghost. You know, like we've got the fourth conjure slot there. Um, so when we get down the road, we have a fourth conjure. We have a fifth conjure. We have a sixth conjure. You're then actively choosing to run the ghost for healing instead of something that gives you more damage or some other thing, right? Uh, that's so that's, a, that's a cool idea. The bigger top of mm. those minds. Um, but I completely agree with you uh, on the power front. Um, Oops. The issue, part of, it's a part part issue I think it's going to get messed up. There we myself, go. Myself, Ryan, Mod Pigeon, we want to make more boss content. We want to make as much as we can. We want to make hard boss content. Um, yes! To do that, we need players engaging with it, right? We, we need players to actually yeah. be playing the hard boss content. Um, Bro, so Mod Sponge is the GOAT. Style. He uh, just he just run, said run, everything run. I need to know. So a he said he wants to make hard like, boss content. We've got we've got a style that's This is this strong, is why mods this right is now. why mods buzz should just take over Mod Ramen's role. That's like that's get Mod Ramen out of there. And we can bring the other styles up. And it's all like a step to get in combat feeling great. There was a there was a question about Cinder Banes that came up earlier. Um that was sort of like essentially there's a bit of a predicament. At least from a player perspective, uh, there is Maliratan in chat said, uh, anywhere it's usable, it's mandatory because it adds an incredible amount of damage, but you're fa basically forced to make bosses immune to poison. So it, is there is there an idea, it, is there like a way that we can tackle Cinder Banes uh, to bring um, them a little bit more in line? Yes and no. Um... Well, no, yeah, not yes and no. Yes, there is. Ignore me. Um, <laughs> Who's responding? No, that's what it is. Yes and no. Yeah, yes, we want to do something. We don't like players feel feeling forced into one line of gear. Um, but it's, again, it's something that will beta. Um, in general, I think we want to rework how Poison works as a whole. Um, yeah. So that we can have the old... They probably just need a nerf. Rather than... Like there's uh, weird bugs at the moment. That just need to nerf just center bands. Play styles. Like it's just too again, strong. Right? It's yeah. It's, it's fine if you're buffing a lot. If you're buffing like a bunch of other stuff, center nerfing center bands is totally uh, we want fair. To do it in a way where yeah, say we remove the poison synergy from Reaver, we then add an actual poison familiar, and maybe we add something else poison, um, and then we give the cinder bands a little bit of a rework, and you add it all together, and it feels like a good build Oops, together. God dang it! I rather than just clicked again. Get rid of get get rid of the cinder banes. You can't use those anymore. Yeah. Like that doesn't feel good for anyone. Um, yeah, in general, we'd like it to feel like I'm a mage. I can actually use my Carapac wrist wraps, and it feels good. Um, it's a bit of a design blocker for us as well, right? Anytime we make okay, let me add some notes. Set of gloves. It's like, well, these either have Are to they be as good as cinder banes. These not? have to be stronger than cinder banes, or not work in a switch sense of cinder banes. Um, to where the power just like adds on top of each other and it, it just feels horrendous to design around um so yeah we're, we're gonna look at some point i'm not saying right away but we'll look to get that sort of thing My open discord on does it also this one. freaking turn the thing black <laughs> cinder main boots <laughs> please no oh my god why does oh, it keep no. turning black <laughs> no i don't know boots. why okay let me add some more notes though uh is my stream showing it that, that no, is a not. challenge as well i think that so a conversation that I, I would like to have a lot more uh, with players around the idea that making combat okay what, what did they basically say about means that we do have so the this is like play. long term Let's they're talking a bunch of long term stuff because as someone who hasn't really done pvming until necromancy there are a lot of bosses in this game obviously if you play them at, at, as they release you're like okay well Oh, done, done, done. But like, like, looking at them all in a line, you're like, oh my god, there's so many. Like this, and it's such a big ramp up to to the end to like Zamorak and and what have you. Like, getting getting up to that point is going to take a lot. But then having you want a boss that's. I mean, isn't we that about, isn't that a good thing? Uh, talking about high end players earlier on, there, there was um, a lot of chat out. out. The, the, the mechanically and the intensive boss is not more challenging than sort of just being like, oh, it does more damage as has more HP, right? right? Like, that, that's, not, that's, that's not how it works. works. Mm -hmm. You have uh -huh. to have a, a more like, like challenging boss. Yes. Kind of yes. So for, so for example, Mod Doom like, understands. She understands like, that the mod, the mod ramen bosses are, are not. I get it. 
that, that, audio's that, messed right up? Oh shoot, sure. it's probably back, something with my mic. Yeah, 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 I yeah, need to fix that. And then, then, then now, now I know that any golf slides like this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to residence. That's what I'm done. Is it any better? Cool. And then you want to put something that isn't. When they talk, it's messed up? It's something with my sound. I need to fix that. Because that's I don't really know what it not, is to be honest. Like it, it's it's interesting for speed kills, but it's not actually like a challenge. We want something like to test you as as a, a yeah, it's not something better. It, it, it's it's a bit off from the comma bayer, but we are thinking about like how we can do more okay mechanically awesome. intense bosses and less DPS dummy bosses. Um, but yes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of oh my God, sort of they the understand. Thing, right? like getting the getting the beta changes into a good spot means that. Combat's in a good spot, which means that you're less like, Look, oh god, we can't put out a whatever boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. They didn't. They basically didn't announce any new content. I I'm just saying right now, they're not going to announce anything. Um, but I'm glad they at least understand. From the beta, that's if um, anything from the stream. Questions. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'll be. There screaming. was. Um, in the next release, we're say, going to test bringing the hit yes. chance. Cap. Right now it's twenty five percent. We're going to bring that right down more um, and see mechanics. what issues arise, if any, as part of that. Um, it's something players have commented on for frequently, for um, especially for the low level accounts. Um, so let's just try it out, see how it goes. Um, especially for like <laughs> early game players and weird restrictions, right? I know there's been been some times of players of like, oh. I with, with with the uh, the beta changes, I actually can't kill Chronozon or something or some weird old quest boss. Deals <laughs> with that in large. It might create some more issues. You just but can't kill a quest we'll boss. That's that's hilarious. Someone asked, "Will there be a hex hunter type weapon for necromancy?" I do not know. Um, How does that even make any sense? Done versus weakness, so yeah, there's no weakness for necromancy or, or strength either. Versus necromancy still. Um, we could so do. Of, of course not. Uh, yeah, nothing imminently on that. Okay. A lot of people have been asking about Staff of Sliske, and I did say earlier, I did say I'm quoting Sponge Dude, when I say There's no KW. way. Yeah, there's no way. So, Staff of Sliske does not need any change. I feel like that's kind of where we're at. I'm not. I'm not going to push you for an answer beyond Keck W. I'm, it, it, I'm it, it's one conscious. of those that I probably will never comment properly on it because it's players want to know, right? But it's like I don't want to make a promise, and then players buy out, and then that doesn't fulfill. Um, so if it ever happens, I'll probably just get dropped on you without warning, um, just so you're aware. Um, someone else asked when are Turoffs getting fixed? That is next week. Um, you will no nice. longer get murdered by Turoffs. Um, let's have a look. What else we got? Any chance bleeds become stackable? Uh, we spoke about this a little bit. Um, it's essentially a system that needs making um, at some point, potentially. It's not like priority one. There's like more core combat issues we want to resolve. I'm not going to say anything about raids, um, but, but I think it's pretty obvious. Like, you, they have to make something more um, group focused. Someone in the chat yeah. said put bulk stacks first. And I think... I thought that was already <laughs> a change. Right? Like that's, that's, yeah, that's already in the, the combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To put, put the, the bulk changes. I'm, I'm, right? I'm glad you point. That, yeah, there's some stuff I've done and I realize I keep forgetting what I've done. Um, it's been a bit of a manic week. Uh, so yeah, bulk... Um, we're doing some tweaks to the buff bar again, see how players like it. Um, we're going to trial not having it flashing red. After... Whilst we can't guarantee the buff icons are always going to snap next to each other, I've increased the likeliness that the two buffs right now are going to be bang next to each other. Um, essentially, Frick, my brain sound like a broken record. we want to make some system improvements Rip. to the buff bar so we have my easy turn. controls on where things sit. Um, but that's a <laughs> job it. for another day. But in the meantime, yeah, Bulb will actually um, should, in most cases, you'll you have it from right, right where they should be. Um, I think that covers that. Any thoughts of taking freedom off GCD instead of anticipation? Um, I think you might have spoken about this before. 
I don't yeah, know. so I spoke it's about anticipation. Um, we were actually yeah. speaking about freedom today. Um, we're a bit unsure. It's probably something we will test out. Um, obviously, there's minor issues with it, having it before. Obviously, freedom's supposed to be like a get out of jail free card if you get stunned. Um, but it, right now, it has the the small immunity. Um, so having it off GCD just before is more like doing an anticipation. Um, I don't really have. I feel like that would make freedom too broken. Issues with that. If it was off think, global cooldown, um, it's something we've been discussing today. Because um, that means you could use an ability, get stunned. It's kind of supposed to do it already. Freedom, but it doesn't. Um, it and then like in long, before long, your next global bug, cooldown, just do another right. ability. Um, where if you're stunned, it's supposed to be off GCD, um, but it's not right now. So we'll we'll look to do that, something. I'm I feel like that would just be that would so we'll just mess up stuff. Nice. It, it would lead to some um, unintended things. I I would imagine. Asked, uh, Mike in chat has asked, "Have you thought about adding cooldowns to some EOFs that are being spammed?" Um, I know that. I, is it is it is it declaw spec? That's. I think it would be a good thing to have it's, freedom. It's, yeah, that's it's an off global. I'm mad at the moment. Um. So we can. I feel like it wouldn't be that impactful. Issue where it's, it feels a bit it. band aid -y. Yeah, but like, back to but like, why though? Again, like, I, 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 like, why uh, have it? Putting a cooldown. Because you just it. lose out on da one damage ability for no reason. It. But then, if we ever. I mean, I don't think it's for no reason. Another four because hit ability. Or a if you anticipate it ahead of time, like. Any strong adrenaline it's... dumpers, you kind of just move back over there. Oh, so no. it's, it's kind of it's it it's kind of like a trade off for you still an issue again. Um, not anticipating. So it, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. It's it's one we're trying to figure out. Um, like I said, we don't want to remove crit buffs because players like the variants of them, but they are a bit of a problem for us right now, balancing wise. Um, so we're playing around with some numbers. We might might bring down crit damage. We might bring down special attack damage. Um, in general, I think D claws have just gained a bit too much power uh, from the beta. So yeah, we'll, we'll trial something out on Thursday. Um, so cool down cool, to answer the question. I keep doing this where I go off on random tangents. Cool down potentially. We will we will do a cool down. Um, it is an avenue to look to address the issue, but it's a bit bad and AD. Yeah, I think they should just nerf the crit buffs completely. What a surprise nerf to Melee. Net kisses. we've literally negotiated down from just flat out removing it at the start of the stream. Let's, that, that's let's, true. Let's, come on. Come on now. It, it, it um, is, it's also not a nerf to Melee because you still gain a bunch of power from the beta. It'd just be you're not gaining as much power as you're gaining, right? That That's something to remember. Like, we could just... We don't want to be in a, in a situation where we feel stuck and just not release the stuff that's on the beta because it's great. Um, so yeah, we, we need to get the power levels right, basically. Nice. Uh, what else we got? Um, da -da -da -da. someone asked about clues, which was it kind of threw me off out of nowhere. I was like, clues. Um, <laughs> someone asked about clue caps. That's come up oh, a lot. Clue caps. Hit list. I've been going over the answers from the survey recently. Uh, there he is, Brody K. Said it in the chat again. He's back. Uh, there, it's come up a lot in the community hit list. So, um, it's feedback that we're going to push and ask the team to explore. But I'm not going to say definitively one way or the other because I don't want to say yes or no because it's not down to me. Okay. Well, I've nice. pretty much so. Gotten Maybe. the gist of this up. I, I think they've I, they've first said first everything that they it. were gonna say. So. so I'm gonna slightly talk over them. Maybe that's a terrible answer. I know, I know that's annoying, right? But I know, I, I know, as a player, if I ask a question, I get an answer like that. I'm like, come on, man. But yeah, it's on the hit list. So what else? We, um, last year we absolutely crushed it with the hit list. So making harder content. Fingers crossed. Um, would you adjust? Would you consider? Might, has asked, would you consider adjusting crit chance and crit damage to be different per nerf. style? So range does less crit damage than magic. Crit adren. Yes, we would consider that. Might um, nerf crit adren right now, buffs. Right now, I think the beta crits just overtuned. There's too much of a reliance on it. Um, 
and more it affect each crit style changes. independently lets us do slightly more interesting things. So I think that is an avenue to explore. Um, whether that is in this iteration or in one where we look more at style identities um, is TBC. But yes, that is a good idea. You consider adding more perk variety. That sounds like a lot. That sounds like a lot of work because perks can go on. You have to basically factor in every single weapon or, or item <laughs> they can go on. I mean, I feel like they could just add that's, new. That's perks. one that's like I'm considering for the next game jam is perks. Um, there's some other weird little stuff like I wanted to do an Olaf quest <sighs> follow up for some reason because it's just been left unanswered for so long. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure the perk would get more upvotes for that. Um, yeah, it's something I want to look at is perks. There is is issues with perks, which we saw a bit with the equilibrium initial change in the in the beta, where changing changing perks that people already have on stuff can lead to weird scenarios where players are like don't do this because I have I want this for this one case over here. Um, Did your luck they'll add new best and slot perks after you get the current ones? But yes, I want to do them because it's half the perks are useless. Yeah, I mean, we're in this this meta where it's like you run the same four perks and that's it. Um, and I think there's a lot of interesting avenues that we can go down. Um, I don't necessarily yes, think it's maybe. a bad thing know. for there to be new best and slot perks. Very nice. Um, I mean, I think off gcd resonance then i no i think I, ha I think having it on gcd makes it you have to you gotta that's it that's the point is that if you time it right you get the reward so I, I'll, I'll raise you i'll raise you one I'll raise i think one having Delete more resonance. perk variety wow like, it's a good right, well, and bad thing cool. yeah All you right. will yeah you will like, the reason yeah. why okay. it's cool, 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 good cool, 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 is because um, any thoughts on two? It allows more, I have an idea, like invention to be designer, so much more um, so, adaptable. I'll, I'll, I'll out. If you if you want if you want to animate all of Necromancy's abilities with two hands, you can, and then you. Oh can no, I have like a, I've got a whole separate. It's a separate and, and a lot more interesting. Like for example, you can have perks that game. that could dr it's dramatically it's change how certain things work. Right, so it's yeah, like flanking, thing. right? Like we've no one uses flanking already, anymore, already, but like, it used to dramatically we've, change we've how you play the game. For anyway. just, basic or or which is cool. Yeah. Like it's interesting. Um, but the problem, yeah, the bad thing not, about having, um, priority, um, like more um, relevant perks, for, is that, that much gain. Um, people style, might need like four different, you know, like four different crypt bloom armor sets, you know, or something like that. Completely different to so like you have a different set for each angle. different um, um be a lot of work. scenario so i think generally is the... i think the solution the for that the would be like you should just that's be that's able to interchange your perks so you don't need to buy like oh, four different out triple out window, sets all q a mode didn't we it's like any yeah, ideas to bring yeah, yeah. in mini games like the, equip the equipment separator is basically what that was but i got nothing they should just they should just rework that um, so I can just interchange my perks oh, I, I, no, with all my gear. Stuff I'll explore in Game Jam, because I have ideas for like revitalizing some of them and making them kind of sick. Um, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing straight up right now. Uh, um, hard and elite area tasks, I have no news on that. I know that the initial plan was, I know when we first came out with it, the conversation was that they wanted to make sure there was enough there in um to make those actually challenging enough to, to justify the reward spaces. So I think the aim would be to make sure that we've expand on the area and then go for the hardened elites. Yeah. So 100%. Uh, fingers um, crossed. We don't we don't really want it feeling too forced. Um, obviously, yeah. with the update next week, we get slightly more stuff we can work with. Um, but I can see the area getting more and more over time. Um, yeah. In which case, we can then make the diary feel proper rather than feel rushed. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, I agree. I at, at, at this point, um, <laughs> you might as well just release it when it's complete. No cactus, don't you rush can't it get out. gun overrides for the Finger of Death ability. Um, are there any balance adjustments planned for the triangle of combat styles at the tier 70 to 90 range? All the power seems to be locked behind tier 92, 95. I mean... No. Uh, Answer is no. That long, long term, yes. There's nothing like right this second. It, it again, it falls into like style identity. All they have to do to more. buff yeah, make the tier like, seventy to ninety gear is just uh, to buff the abilities. Um, again, we don't want to force. But I don't in, think they can really go, do that. Actually, we don't like this. And then we get style identity without making the tier ninety two plus stuff um, just go absolutely ham. Yeah, long term, long term, yes. Right now, no. That's fair. That is absolutely fine. I just, I don't know. I feel like I, that's more incentive. But yeah, for me like to try tier and ninety necromancy through. versus tier ninety. Let's say like melee here, with no buffs man. is like. Then I, can I think like probably three to four times uh, more. Arrows as conjures when they're dead. Let them go. Let them let them rest. We're not that, dead. Like no job. Be so they're mean. Perfect. Like why would? At how how many just... barrows are there now? There's like thirteen of them, right? Uh... What? There's 13 barrels. Why is it for 13? What? Do we? Adding more. What is it? Is it eight? Is it eight? It's eight. It's eight. Eight. It's like, well, when eight. we when we get when when we get up to the eight slot, so you can just summon the whole gang, right? That'd be sick. Yeah. Don't don't let Meteor on Twitter know. Yeah, I can think of one particular Verac lover who wants nothing more than to be able to conjure a Verac <laughs> on demand. It, it, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm never saying that. Ne I never say never. Like I like barrows yeah. as much as anyone, so. Whilst I'm here, potentially we'll we'll get Derek running around just bombing people. <laughs> the spooky mace from out of nowhere, caving in helmets. Um, <laughs> Someone, so, so rise just of the eight when oh, oh no. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna interrupt. Someone just went. We can get Gutton and he can heal you, and it'd be perfect to go with my ghost. This sounds fantastic. <laughs> Keep the ideas coming. Uh. Um. Someone said hide other conjure. Um, I agree a tough to an one. extent. It is a tough one. Um, because at the same time, you, it's a bit weird just to have random damage that's coming from nowhere, right? Um, something to investigate, I'd say. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit like hide people that hide pets, really. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't mind an NC yeah. hide hide it in general, but that's way above me. That's like super yeah. techie I'd engine stuff. I feel like I was you, crying. Why is a, that? There's a challenge, right? Because you want it. You, I, I like the I, I love the fact that it's like social, right? You can see other people in the world. You can see their pets. You can see their, their conjures and whatever. But then if you're in like an instance, like the Unritual Any site, obviously, we've kind of protected that area as much as back, possible. Raids. Um, but then like in an instance of a boss fight, if everyone's using necromancy, it's like Pop there are so me. many skeletons in here. What is going on? <laughs> so it, it gets a bit manic. There, there, so I there's maybe, also there's also ugh. I Having them typed that wrong, but all kind of limits what we can do. No new boss. Well, no new boss yet. And yeah. Just like go like spitballing. It's like, what if magic got a ability and you target a friendly NPC and buffed its stats, and that yeah. could include your staff of Slisk clone, or it could include necro conjures on your <laughs> team or whatever. Oh, uh, don't say that. <laughs> We're gonna send them into a rage. But yeah, that sort of uh, thing. I was writing uh, a response to this, but someone someone in chat seismic wand. Naming and shaming here. Uh, any update on allowing Iron Men to access all mini games? So this has come up in the hit list again. Thank you very much, everyone who submitted to the hit list. This is nothing to do with combat, but um, don't I've talk about mini games, had please. A few conversations it's with just members sad. of the team about uh, including Mod Camel. I would like to do at some point this month. Just don't. Sit down with just the team don't organize. Remind us how dead mini games or are. Some sort of interaction with Iron Men in general, because I don't know what you want. Um, it's a bit of a struggle, so we're trying to figure out what's going on. Um, what we'd like to do is just get opinions from Iron Men about where the line falls on stuff like interacting with other people, grouping, mini games, boss content, all sorts of stuff. Once we get that feedback in, if it's clear, if it's clear, then we can start to bring some of that stuff in. Yeah, say, they talked okay, about how it's like they too do strong. Want to be able to participate in this is what they don't want to participate in, and that helps stuff like our events like the shard hunt or the golden cape hunt events like that 
where it's sometimes uh, it actually it wasn't it wasn't even they weren't even talking about with magic they were talking about with, with melee actually with the d claws a funnily much clearer enough. picture on that that would be perfect so that is a goal that i want to get moving in the next few weeks as well so there you go there's your answer everyone suddenly a million iron men come out of the woodworks with opinions that's really cool um I'd what have to test it in the combat beta. Like maybe, maybe in the combat beta, like the amount Stuff of crit rate there work. is with melee. Um, yes and no. It just right. Like you just like crit every D claw and just hit like it, especially with things like, <laughs> like a trillion Guardian, damage. Right? But um, y yes and no covers it perfectly. Um, Brian was toying with some stuff, um, like having timers underneath icons, which would be really handy. Um, that's not in active development but maybe in a future beta launch we might we might add that in um just so we can like clean up the bar a bit and make it more user friendly and then there's bigger things we'd want to do there's like further down the line which is like playing players choose what's on there um and in general in general i think we want to get more stuff off the buff bar i think that's a big thing um right now it's a bit cluttered of effects that are just icons yeah. and we'd like to get those in game and actually like round the player have them properly i totally visible. agree the uh, buff bar being I bloated is a definitely a big like problem because then it's just like you can't tell what yeah, you're looking like at having a buff bar that's a little bit more organized but also i think there would be a really cool opportunity it should it should, it should just be more have, um be like optimized UI thing and i don't really know how we would go about it that's an elegant solution but having like just a place where all of your passives sit so you can know what's actually having an impact on you because i know that with things like anachronia and loads of different places where you just get passives from something sometimes people are like what how did that happen or why is there this interaction or something then we can be like oh it's because of that passive but but at the moment we second. don't yeah we don't know so we need to make sure about that um search buff settings that's in the hit list food company thank you very much uh hoping that we can chat to the team about that that would be something really cool i would love a search bar that would be really cool um because i only ever surge go to my what using the search bar Surge what people bar? really mean about my bank? We shared it on Twitter recently. What? <laughs> Modazana's banks were posted side by side, and people guessed which one was which. And honestly, I'm so disappointed in all of you for thinking that I was as horrifically disorganized as Modazana. Shame on you. But also, yes, I just used the search bar anyway. Oh, search bar. What the heck? Okay, Mo uh, Modred has just said he, he only has one bank tab, and he's... He's not organized it yet. So that's all right. That makes me feel a little bit better. Um, who has the glowing eyes down the hallway? Monka S. Monka S. <laughs> I can't. I can't see behind me. I'm not gonna look. Your your attempt. On I, I think I we're just like uh, we're just um, rambling at this point. Would there be any chance of defeating Raziel with a different style other than necromancy? No. No. I'm probably no. not. No, probably not. Not unless it was like. Is Raziel too, and he's part of something else, kind of like next AOD was. Um, we quite like him being next. Hard mode Raziel. In general, please. I actually think I actually like blocked bosses. I think er, Raziel's usability to all the styles, uh, even if one is particularly ahead. Second resurrection. Um, and it creates like different weird metas and whatever. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think that is. That is all just about all the time we've got. I appreciate that it is coming up on six um on a Friday. So we're all trying to we're all trying to get out of here. Um Echo has asked about S twenty fours. It is a known issue. The team are investigating. We're gonna get our hands on some hardware, do some additional testing to figure out if we can get that <laughs> if you know about it. Thank you very much for that. Roadmap. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was no roadmap. What else have we got? Uh da da da. da. Uh, I don't know what our plans are at the moment, if we have any scope with what we would like to do with Vorkath. I know there were some conversations around things like signposting uh, attacks and things like that. There are definitely things I would love for us to be able to do. Um, it would be really, really cool for us to just get a little bit of hands on with that and make some adjustments because I know that essentially from accessibility points, that's, that's an issue. But also um, there was a question about Vorkath being vulnerable to dragon uh it was a dragon slayer uh, dragon is one, one of the sigils one works right now one doesn't sorry the sigil um, that's it yeah he's yeah, undead I, I, I'll, he was a dragon that's the i'll, one. I'll chase that up 
because um, I did some work prior to his release that essentially made it possible to have him both. Um, I don't know if the devs chose for a reason to not have him both. If there's, I don't know, if there's law reasons that things can't be both. But the, the work's been done on the back end um, so that we could enable that if we want to uh, in some form. Uh, so I will chase yeah. that. I will chase that. Lovely. Uh, Missing has said, speaking of floating sure, why not? going to be a fix for the floating? Shmig Vorkat. That is. Ikasal, you have to have to be fixed with the undead update. slayer. Uh, next engine update. Dragon Sorry. slayer. The next engine perk update. on both your armors. Um, so they, uh, when that why not? Out, it will be. Just melt them choice. even faster. Um, and anything about inverted skill capes? I wish. Unfortunately, not. Uh, when we have news, we will share it. I really inverted skill capes are only going to come back through another fresh start world. And get opinions. I'm on sorry, it, everyone. That would be. I <laughs> re. I'm sorry, TKF. I'm really sorry. They. Um, they. But, yeah, they know. Really, really cool. They know it's something that people want, and they want to uh, get money from it. Sorry, I, I so just, I'm good. I'm, no, they go need to do no, another Fresh Start Worlds and Tangents make like absolute, in you know, asking questions multiple times. Revenue through the uh, roof. Is there some reason we rarely see new perks in the game with new updates? The new items introduced, like Undead Dragon Hide Heart, which could have been given new comps perks. I completely agree with you. Um, I think generally it's um, the teams that are designing whatever that piece of content is. Um, coming up with a perk niche um, but yes in general i'd like to see more perks um it just adds extra uh time proofing the bosses when it has extra stuff um attached to gear uh that's not a promise that we will do it but something i'm i'm well aware of adds Can extra spice thank out. you those are the words there we go that's oh. it i knew what you were gonna say <laughs> Can you make the Globetrotter outfit augmentable? That sounds like someone trying to get help for being a cluer. No. Um, no, that's absolutely not a problem. We, we can a certainly raise that feed. Yes. That would be lovely. And shame all the cluers. me, Diable Globetrotter. That sounds pretty sick. I agree, Mod Dude. Oh, my. Hey, look, we've, we've literally just had this conversation about Diable gear causing <laughs> headaches. Um, and we're, we're very keen to get the, the Tier 95 gear out um, as soon as possible. So, um, I, I'm going to say soon, I'm not going to put a date on it because I have a really bad track record with doing this. So, hmm. um, and then sock, sock slot when, honestly, that, that would be so cool. Um, <laughs> what the heck? my, my sock game is diabolical. I can't show you today cause I'll pull a muscle, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that is all the time we've got for now um as always you can always reach myself sponge okay our relative places on x is, are we calling it that now um and we're in the the official runescape discord and the <sighs> couple of the community spaces as well so you can chat to us there if you are participating Runes in the combat beta, a instagram drop i never knew that in the beta channels on the discord the uh, subreddit and also looking there, at their handles down the there encyclopedia which is a great community space to go and hang out in um there are feedback channels in there as well so we're always hanging out in there go and have a chat um we dropped some feedback our way it's always lovely to hear from you but on behalf of all of us here at the runescape team thank you very very much for joining us have a lovely rest of your weekend have a beautiful morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world we'll be back in touch very very soon with more live streams i want to make it a, a weekly Thanks thing now for the stream try and make sure we're scheduling streams every week give us something to talk about but don't worry i won't be dragging sponge out here every week that's a little bit mean we'll give him some time to actually do his job and, and cook and not change staff of slisk so yeah until next time uh we're gonna try and find yeah i don't know why people are made and say hello to i don't know why they're uh, so fixated on the staff of slisk sure. and like, okay i mean i do understand yeah, why it's because the the, the, the zero god sword and the so seren anyway. godbow both got Good buffs evening. in the past bye, bye. but i think and I've said this before, but uh, I think if they were going to give a buff to magic, it would make much more sense for them to give a buff through like new content other than buffing old content. Because Telos doesn't need any, <laughs> Telos doesn't need any more like buffs to it, I guess. Like, you know, Telos is going on eight years old now. It's eight year old boss. Like we don't need to be buffing Telos's drops. We just there needs to be new content.
I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. Well, I'm going to do a quick recap. And I guess give a review on everything that they discussed. So, oh, dear, dear God. Yeah, I'm just going just to just mute that. So, let's see. First thing, going off my prediction stream, or what I predicted was going to be on the stream, where did they land on? So I said that they would announce the absolute bare minimum. <laughs> You're crying. I'm sorry to hear. Um, I said they would either announce the absolute bare minimum, they would announce a really, really horribly timed cash grab, or they would announce some good changes. So, I actually think they kind of did none of these things. I'm not going to lie. So, the only thing that they actually announced that was completely new was the Moonstone gem. The new gem. But it's probably not going to make much of an impact because they said it was going to be a mid to high, high tier. They actually didn't announce anything, basically. They just kept talking about f future content. They didn't announce Necromancy Part 2. They did not, I'm saying. They did not announce any 120s. They did not announce... Oh, they, okay, they did announce when the beta was going to go live. Oh, wow, they, they hosted someone. Didn't host me. Unlucky. Okay, uh... Didn't announce the, ne <laughs> the Necromancy Rex Matriarch boss. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna just close this. This is weird that I'm streaming someone else's stream. Uh... And that's stuff that we knew was, was in the woodworks. Bitchy watching Bree Cheese? I was. Uh... They thankfully did not announce any cash grabs. Cause... It would just be awfully timed if they did. People would try to burn down Jagex. More than they already are doing now. And they honestly, they didn't announce any, any good changes. Any good reworks as of yet. Now let me go back to my notes. So. What they talked about was. A bunch of basically minor quality of life stuff. Except for the the moonstone, we'll see what that does. But again, it's not like it's not like this moonstone is gonna lead to hours of content. It's probably just gonna be a quest to drop, and then you maybe get it from a mob or something like a slayer mob. And it's just gonna be some minor upgrade to something. It's just like a little bit of content, I would say. It's like it's like when when Jagex released the gemstone dragons. Okay, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but this was like 6 years ago. It was just like uh, it was just a new mob that dropped this gemstone armor and then nobody cared about it. It it, it, it nobody cared about it back then and nobody cares about it now. I'm going to guess that's what's going to end up happening with this moonstone. And then they announced combat updates. Well, they didn't announce it, they were talking about it. So, I can't even say that this is even going to happen. Because when you talk about stuff, you can change your mind the next day. So, we can't take any of this as, like, actual content that's going to come out. Like, they didn't announce it. But that being said, overall... What I got from the stream, I think is actually a, a positive. Like, I, I think they announced what they were talking about was good. They talked about with the combat, they knew that a lot of, a lot of the combat was jank, and they're working on fixing it, and I totally agree. A lot of the jank, if they fixed with RS, I think combat in RS was actually really good. Especially in terms of other MMOs. Like, MMO combat. It's just the jank that really turns people off. Like, stuff like Surge, 
procking your global cooldown, and you know, and they're fixing that in the uh, the combat beta. And they also they also know that a lot of the recent bosses are they just feel like they're big DPS dummies. And Mod Sponge specifically said that they want to make more difficult bosses mechanically. So I think that their head is in the right space. Now, will they do it? That's a you know, that's anybody's guess because they can talk about doing stuff all they want, but if they don't announce it, that they didn't they didn't do it. <laughs> so we'll have to see. So yeah, that's my conclusion. I think what they talked about was good, but they didn't announce anything, so there's still no content for RS <laughs> for the time being. Uh, so for the next uh, month or two, gonna find another game to play. Alright, that's gonna wrap up uh, this segment for me.